So did you know that Slack has a note-taking like tool and a task management system all baked within its experience? And it can be incredibly useful as you're going across your day. Today, we're gonna to dive into how Slack lists and Canvas work in this video to help understand how you can use it every single day. Now, as we roll into this, this is important to note. You actually need Slack Pro to access the majority of the features. Slack Free only gives you access to Canvas in DMs and in channels only, which can be some of the basic abilities, but in terms of the external functions and the list abilities, you do need the pro function. Now, that pricing is on screen now, and if you're an individual that works in a team, this is obviously something you'll need to consider with the team that you work with. But as an individual, you could potentially use this separately if you wanted to. So here we are with Slack, and you're probably wondering where to find this. Well, very simply, if you go into a chat, you'll be able to start using it in DMs. So here we are, as you can see, I have Pro, I'm on the trial, and you can see Canvas is available here. Now, what it's gonna do straight away is hit you with some of the options. For example, in this case, you can go and explore the templates that are available or use that template straight away. Now, you can see here that here's a few options for templates and they look pretty much like documents that you will see in other applications. So if I press use template, everything gets populated and I can start using it straight away. And there are obviously some great abilities in here. For example, if you go in and press slash command, you can build a canvas within a canvas, which means it's a page within a page, and then you can go about using some of the other abilities that you might know inside of Slack, like record, video clip, which is perfect for recording a clip and then letting it host inside of the page. So perfect if you're leaving a bunch of notes, a transfer document for one of your team members to move across to. And the same with an audio clip as well. Now there are a bunch of other abilities like a list, a profile, a channel, and also you can have columned layouts. Column layouts look a little bit like this. And you can even leave placeholders as well, which is perfect for you and your team uploading details. So this is what it looks like in DMs, the channel version exactly the same, and you can add more if you want to. Just by pressing this, you can add an additional canvas, you can create a new canvas, and as you can see, it will populate here. Now, you can add a cover photo if you want to it, and you can choose from a range of their different cover photo options. Now, what's great about this is you can upload your own if you do want to. Now, obviously there are a bunch of different options here, but you can use Markdown as well. Markdown can be helpful just to speed up your typing. For example, if I did a transfer document and I use the insert down here, I can even insert things like dates as well. Now dates can be helpful for indicating important times that things need to be done. So for example, a date could be helpful if I added a checklist item and then I decided to say task one and added a date. In this case, I could tag a person if I wanted to. For example, I could tag Carl, and then I could add that date there and say it's for next Wednesday. And you can see that date pops up, but you can also go ahead and add a reminded well, which is pretty helpful. If you're enjoying this video and you haven't yet checked out our top note-taking applications and our free report for buyer's guide, you can find that linked down below and uh, get access to it for free. This will give you a buyer's guide to note-taking apps as well as a ranked report of the best ones at the moment. So here we are with the ability to remind, which is pretty helpful. And obviously that can come through on mobile and the item will turn blue, which is pretty helpful. You can edit the day at any point. And what's nice inside of Canvas is you can leave comments as if you were in a thread, which is helpful because it links it to the document or the Canvas and you can go from there. Now, obviously, one thing you can do is if you want to rename the tab at any point, you can. You can also copy the link to the canvas, which means you can share it externally. But obviously, there are some limitations to that in terms of what access, unless you've got that Slack Connect, which I believe is now called Atlas or maybe I'm, I don't know whether that's the full name of it at least. So obviously Canvas is quite a helpful way to operate stuff. And the one thing you can do is create a table as well. This obviously isn't going to be the multimedia that you expect in other applications, but it's gonna get you going in terms of using a basic table and being able to you know, basically link to certain sections too. So there is a separate experience and this is where the pro experience comes in. Down on this left-hand side, you can see that Canvas is available. And from here, you can access all of the templates as well as the stuff that's shared with you. So you don't have to go and rummage through the other is DMs and channels to find them. So in this case, I could see a channel overview quickly and quickly access it. Now there is that other ability I mentioned earlier that you can create lists. Now a list is essentially and can be created from the channels area, which is quite helpful, as well as a DMs area, and also from a separate experience, which I'll show you in a moment. But the only thing is lists is a core pro feature. So you won't even get that 
unless you're on the free trial. So the list function works pretty simply. If you go ahead and create a new list, lists are slightly different because canvases are documents, lists are structured lists, but you can turn them into project management systems. So in this case, if I put project ABC, I can add a description, so project ABC description, and that comes up there. On this right-hand side, I can set up forms as well. I can share the list, I can star it as well. Now starring it is obviously gonna make it super helpful to access stuff like that for later. Now, this is like a database. So imagine dumbed down version of Notion database is a bit more like monday.com or Asana, which helps to create that structure for you. So for example, if I had task one and I could assign it to a certain person, for example, in this case, I can assign it to Carl and give it a date of the 9th. Now that's vastly different to what you see on Canvas. It's structured, you can now do things like um, sorting as well. For example, if you wanted to break it down even further, you can also filter things as well. For example, things that could be done this week and give you an indication of the, the day that you're focusing on it. You can also add additional fields as well. So for example, you could add, I don't know, a voting or other such things, or even a project doc with a canvas link that you created earlier. So for example, that transfer document we made earlier, you can quickly create a document or a link to it, which helps you to build it out for later. Now there's a few different views to this. They only have two views, it's table and board, but both can be incredibly helpful. For example, because I set this up with grouping of people, you can see that that is grouped per person. I can remove group by. I don't think there's any other association at the moment. So if I add more details to this, it might be able to group by other attributes. So down here, I can see a bit more detail here. I can open it up on this right hand side, which means I can see the item details. But most importantly, I can add even more stuff as well. I can add a checkbox if I want to. I can add a channel it's associated to, as well as a voting system as well and also set up things like messaging files that could be attached to it. So in this case, I might add an additional one like rating, just to show you example of that setup. And I'm gonna go and rate it. So in this case, you could give it a rating of a task. And as you can see, the attribute is populated in the grouping area. So now I can see every four star task that has come into the system. Now this is great for collaborating with others because it means that if I have that team element, I could add a note or a, a comment to this, and I could see exact threads based on this comment. So if you're working and collaborating together, it can be a great way to be able to organize that. Now, the great thing is I can share that detail to certain people. For example, if I had an item like a task, then I could share it to a channel, which is great for breaking stuff down and be able to bring details in. So in this case, I can also share a form which basically brings all of the details in. In this case, the forms are quite helpful because if I wanted to collect details from a task, then I could share it with people on my team, which means that they could bring in attributes like name, people, date, and rating. Now, this is a workflow, so it's slightly different, but this form could be helpful if you're collecting CRM data with people. For example, you have a community here on here and you want to collect up some information so that you can then start a task based on this. They can pre-populate that information for you, which is a helpful feature. Now, you can also share it and edit it in and part of the general area. So for example, if I um, gave access to everyone in the general to be able to access this list, they can go in and modify such details, which means I can collaborate with them and start working on the items. Now over here, you can create views, which are basically fixed versions of what I showed you a moment ago. So for example, if you had upcoming items, you could group it by people and keep it in a table view. But what's nice is you can use the filtering then to break down, okay, the dates are next week or after today. And then I can save that view and save it as that view. So that means that the upcoming area is dedicated to only things that are gonna be after today. No overdue stuff. I could create an overdue one if I wanted to, but these lists are really helpful for that in terms of breaking down new details. The other attribute that's quite helpful in here is I've just created what's called a new window. And that can be great for breaking stuff up. If you're using this to chat and you want your task open separately, or you want a canvas open, that's something you can do to break down that information. So in terms of getting started with this, you'd need the Pro Axis, which is a bit of a shame. I did tell you, I'll show you what the list version looked like, and this is what it looks like. There's starred ones over this left hand side, the one I created earlier. And here's an example of a worked one that they've got in the templates area. So in this case, here it is, it's a project tracker. And you can see such details like the tasks, the status, so that's something I didn't do, but you can create status 
and the importance of priority level as well as description, dates, and that's all added from other details. So really helpful if you're trying to break things down. So that's a few of the ways that you can use it. Obviously some more examples like a bug tracker could be a good one, help requests, feedback, quarterly planning, etc. Helps to break down stuff. Obviously it's not gonna replace a fully fledged system, but if you're already in Slack, they're just trying to reduce that element of context switching so that you don't have to constantly jump between different applications. So that's Canvas, that's Lists inside of Slack. You'll access it on the pro elements and obviously you can start using Canvas as part of the channels and DMs only anyway for free. So thank you very much everyone. As I said, if you want that free report of note-taking applications for now and also ongoing and a buyer's guide to noticing apps, you find it linked below. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're in the hunt for productivity tools, you know where to go, toolfinder.co, and I'll see you all very soon. Cheerio.